Welcome to Osiris Nodon. So my gas situation is a lot better. I got a bunch of uh, hydrogen and nitrogen. I already crafted a bunch of hydrazine and I collected myself a bunch of resources. The only thing that I'm really missing is glass. I already cranked up some rubber production. I'm gonna bring some barrels. So this is what I got. A bunch of plastic and stuff. I'm sure I'm gonna be short on something. But uh, at least I think I'm going to be in better position to complete that thing. So let's pick up all the alloys. I'm also going to bring one stack of each. And I'm going to put it in spaceship. I just don't have a lot of zirconium. I might have to go back to Lutari and get some more. Because that's really the thing that I'm lacking. I'm also going to have to bring some plutonium. But there you go. That's the plan for today go back to the space station and try to build it up a little bit more not sure if i'm going to be able to complete it but let's go to space again i think i got everything so i'm just going to try to make a little bit more oh i don't have alien blood but i can bring meat stews. yeah let's bring some meat stews. should be good and everything else i think yeah i left the plants somewhere else okay I can always come back and bring these things because the biodome should allow me to plant some stuff up there. But okay, I think we're good to go. Uh, maybe bring in some bottles. But yeah, let's bring some water. Should be good. I should be able to put it back there. So all the alloys and the ingots are over there. In the spaceship, I'm bringing all the materials. Also some alien hides, some plant fiber, plutonium, some barrels. I hope that's all let's see how it goes so i'm gonna go back and i think i'm gonna redo a few things that i started doing i think i'm gonna uh, upgrade it a little bit okay the weather conditions are getting bad so let's just get the hell out of here is the ailerons good okay should be let's just engage and zip it otherwise the atc is not gonna let me leave so let's just go up there hopefully i'll get out right next to the space station It'll be kind of nice. So what I mean by upgrading is I, I think I want to increase the size of it a little bit. It's a little bit crammed up. Because if those three solar arrays aren't enough, are not enough, oh there it is. Uh, I'm going to need to install more power modules and more solar arrays. So I think I'm going to expand it a little bit in the back. So that if this is not enough, I can always uh, increase the power production. So let's just go to zero. There we go. Nice. Holy moly, this ramp is tricky. Okay, so here we are, the space station. Started building this a couple episodes ago. So, well, what I could do is actually attach another power module right here. And I should be able to attach another solar ray down here. And not only that, I think I can actually attach eight on this thing. So maybe it should be okay. Well, let's go in. Let's see where's the where's the entrance. Is this the entrance? Yeah, there's the entrance. It actually has two entrances right here. But this one is not very good. Well, but it works. I can leave on this side. So it should be okay. Let's go in here. How how do I open this thing? I think I have to press a button or something. Yeah, begin pressurizing. And uh, it's not very effective when the, the outdoor the outdoor door opens up too. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, so this will be the, the power module. This is the, the back. So if I go here, there's the hallway. And here's where I'm gonna have all the, you know, the cam station, stuff like that. Here I'm probably gonna have some storage. And then I got the communications module. And here I'm gonna attach the cockpit. So let's see. The <coughs> Excuse me. I was thinking about attaching uh, the ring module on this one. And the biosphere on these ones here. But I think the biosphere could also be... Yeah, but I already got the airlock there. You know... I think the airlock, I should have an airlock on this one and on the other side. The problem is I can't rotate them. So the other airlock is actually going to face this wall, which is a little uh, strange. So let's just see what I'm going to need for the airlock, because I think I'm going to change it. 
the airlock, the airlock, airlock module, magnalium, durlamnum, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. I never thought I would see the day where I actually have the resources to do them all, at least once. So that's pretty cool. So first I think I'm going to attach the navigation module. It will unlock something else and I kind of want to see what it is. So let's just put it here at the top of the ship. There you go. There it is. The navigation module. Look at it. It has room for two. So let's see what it unlocked. The engine module. There it is. So in a pre apparently the biosphere will also unlock something else. So now I don't have it all. I need lithium and diamonds. I'm going to attach the engine right here after the power module. Uh, I can always retrieve the things and I hope it works like everything else where I just get everything back. So let's just put the... Oh boy, that's a big one. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it to be so large. So... Okay then, let's put it in. Holy moly, that's a big engine. Oh, look at that. Now he has uh, the thrusters coming out. And the last time I built a space station, this thing wasn't working. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. Looks like a space rocket. Nice. So basically, I got the engine. So I need to put in the biosphere. But first, I think... Let's see. Yeah, this thing is pretty big. It's not going to fit where I thought it would. So I'm going to have to extend it. Because I would like to have two of these things. They're going to give a little bit of a shadow to the solar arrays. But I think it should be okay. So let's actually try if I can rotate the, the, the airlock. I removed it from where it was over there. I can rotate it before I attach it. But to attach it has a certain position that it goes on. Yeah, this one goes right here. And this one goes to the back. Yeah, this one doesn't even allow me to come out from this side. Look at that. Oh, maybe it does. I don't know, but it's a bit tight. And uh, I kind of don't want to have him here neither because he goes into the solar race. Uh, so I think. And it doesn't allow me to connect on the top. No, on the top it's closed. I think. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't go here. Could also be here. Oh yeah, I think like that should work pretty fine. It has room in both sides. That's perfect. Let's put the airlock right there. I think it's looking a little bit better. Instead of being on the side. And then on the side I can just put observation things. I think it's going to look cool. So basically, production, storage and food. Cockpit. Uh, here, the entrance and exit, observation, water, and in the back, the power and the engine. I think that's going to work. So apparently I'm uh, going into the other side of the... I'm not getting sunshine now, so it's kind of hard to see. But these things I'm definitely going to have to extend. So let's see how big the biosphere is. Oh boy, that's a big fella. And I think I can actually... I don't see where it is. Oh, there it is. I, I'm going to put it in just to see how it is. Because I think I can attach something else on this, on, this, on, this, on this end. Yeah, I can. So we will actually look pretty cool if I attach the ring modules after these biospheres. Actually having two biospheres. <laughs> Because they have a lot of room to put in crops, you know. One is plenty. But I think two will look pretty damn sweet. And then I come into the production area. Actually, this should be storage. Maybe a kitchen. Can I do a kitchen? Oh, there you go. The biosphere actually unlocked the biosphere plot. That's right. So I don't see a kitchen here. And apparently I already unlocked everything. Yeah, doesn't seem like I can attach a, a kitchen. It would be nice because having the biosphere, right, to be able to cook stuff. So this could be storage and the production could actually be here. So I'm gonna go with that idea. Attach another biosphere. I'm just 
concerned because I think I'm not gonna have enough glass. I'm gonna have to go down and use the shovel again. Uh, definitely. So let's attach a new biosphere on this side. There you go. I got my light on, but not really easy to see. So let's put in a ring mod. Oh, I still have the glass though. Magnalian, not so much. You see, all the ingots that I've done, and I don't even have enough to do a complete space station. So I don't have a lot of glass. I'm actually going to take the opportunity to put in another solar array. And then we'll see if four will be actually... Uh, yeah, I can't see shit. <laughs> I'm actually going to go down. I need resources, so let's see what I would need. Magnalium glass. Uh, for two. Yeah, it's just magnalium and glass. And then what, I, what it would also be n uh, nice. Uh, circuit boards. Okay, magnalium glass and circuit boards. Everything else I think, I think I'm okay. Computers, I'm probably going to need computer screens for the things that go inside. But okay, let's focus on the outside first. So I'm going to go back to Proteus. Hopefully when I come back, I'll actually be able to see this thing. It would be nice. Where's my spaceship? That's the question. Still in space. Pretty cool that opening up the map, we can actually see where the spaceship is. But the little odd thing is that we can actually see the map of something else too. And this looks eerily similar to the Proteus map and the Lutari map, and the Aziel map. I think it's the same map for all. Maybe not, maybe this is just the Proteus map, but it's a little weird that I can actually see it from space here, isn't it? I really wish there was a better way to get sand. I mean, the drills do give sand, but like 14, that's not enough. Because, oh boy, I don't mind getting the rocks. I don't mind getting the plants. Getting sand, holy moly. Oh yeah, big balls of fire. Look at that. <laughs> I think it's gonna look awesome. Like a, like a big robot. Oh yeah. Imagine now with the big wing modules on the sides. Menacing. If we could have weapons, that would be tremendous. Filling those ring modules with a bunch of turrets. Oh yeah. But I like it. I like the idea. Let's go for it. It's a little bit more expensive, but you know. Uh, I think I think we gotta go for the locks, otherwise what's the point? So let's see. Uh, do I have it all? So I was trying to do this. So I'm mixing rubber. And let's see for the hallway. Okay, it's just rubber. I crafted a little bit more. Let's see if I have enough. And I still got the shovel in my hands. I don't think I need it in space, but I, it seems like I can't really put it down. So. Come on, spaceship, show me the prompt, please. Do I have to ask, please? Holy moly. Thank you. So let's grab also the steel. Here, I shouldn't have any problems with the cameras. So there you go. Let's just... Where's the spaceship? Oh, man. I'm lost. Space is big, man. Only being inside it, we kind of get the idea. Uh, so this thing's here. I don't know, maybe more observation modules, something like that. But at the same time, I kind of feel like I should have another power module. It looks a little bit crammed up over there, doesn't it? Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to attach another power module. And the great thing is, the power module doesn't actually take any glass, so I can attach another one. There you go. But the solar arrays, I think they do. Uh, six each, so, yeah. So twenty-four, yeah. I think I'm gonna put in the ring, the rings first, and uh, let's see how it goes. Ten each, yeah. Oh, let me let that's a big thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh baby, and it's open here. Oh, it's open on this side. I didn't know about that. I thought it would be closed. Uh, so, okay, I can always put a skylight there or something, but I think it's going to look pretty cool. Yeah. Because I think, since it's so wide, I think it has to be a little bit longer. Otherwise, it's going to look weird flying. 
in this direction being wider than it is, than it is in terms of longitude. So let's see the engine. What am I missing? Oh man, plutonium. Oh, did he, did the power module take plutonium? Yes, it did. So now I'm short on plutonium. Okay, but at least I can put in the other ring module. Okay, let's put in the other one. It's gonna be massive. Oh boy. There we go. And let's see what it takes for the for this. I'm gonna need more glass and probably white gold too. I have enough for four though. In terms of white gold, but okay. But I'm also gonna need some skylights there. Skylight module takes ten glass each. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need white gold, maybe magnesium and plutonium. The ring module don't need any more. But I'm out of plastic, so maybe this thing looks open. Is it open? No, it's windows. Pretty cool. Looked like it was open. Because, you know, they might have changed some things. There you go. No, I don't want this mantle. What if I shoot it? Oh, you can hear the shots in space. In space, this is not a fart machine. It's just a, a laser pistol. Pretty cool. So I just found out a pretty cool way to land a little bit faster. Totally my mistake again. Let's see if I can replicate it. So I was flying towards my habitats over there. And I started th uh, throttling down to make it stop. And it kind of... There you go. You see, it went right into this animation. And it landed pretty damn fast. And there it is. Let's see if I can replicate it again. Because it's pretty damn fast. Much faster than usual. So I could just fly towards the thing. Just before I reach it, I start throttling down with right click. And it jumps up to the animation. And then I keep right clicking. And we're in. Nice. Really damn fast. I've also installed the liquid tank and actually stored here uh, methane. So... Previous episode, I showed a little trick to empty out with the barrel, but then the thing is, the the barrel high, filled with hydrocarbon solution, we can use it to do plastic right away. But we can't empty out the barrel into this tank. But what you do is the same thing that we do to retrieve the hydrocarbon solution. You just put a barrel in your hand and the barrel here, and you just uh, select the bottle. You press F to put in the methane into the tank and then you switch to the barrel with F pressed and you keep switching between the barrel and the bottle while F is pressed down and that's how you empty out the methane from the barrel but not to extract it is actually G so in case you're having trouble emptying out the barrels into the liquid tank with hydrocarbon solution that's how you do it the same way you retrieve it so let's just do a little bit more plastic too yeah, I decided to just bring a bottle or two. So let's just bring a bottle or two. Because you never know, I think I'm going to need more plastic later, so let's just do a little bit. And uh, the plutonium is cranking up. But I still need to dig some glass. Motherfucking glass. Yeah, I got the magnesium here. I got plutonium, some more power cells, it's gonna hurt. I got some more white gold. Yeah, let's just take more glass. Oh man, I really hate the glass. Okay, so... 86 glass. I think that's gonna be enough. Okay, so I collected all I needed. I got a little bit more plastic. I got plutonium. I mean, I hope it's enough uh, to finish that thing. Glass. Yeah. The circuit boards. Okay. We're ready to go. Let's rock and roll. Still pretty early. Uh, I think I'm just gonna wait a few minutes. No, it should, it should become light in space because apparently over there in orbit uh, the light kind of follows the same uh, time 
as here in the planet itself so when it becomes daytime here it should become daytime in space so that i can see the thing it's gonna be cool so i needed the engine and a bunch of sky modules so that's why i made i made a bunch of glass but even so i'm not sure if it's gonna be enough let's see oh yeah look at that <laughs> pretty cool i like it it looks different weird strange menacing wide i like it so let's just put in the the engine and uh, close it out because i figure it should have to be pressurized even if it doesn't like uh, the bases on the planet itself don't have to be closed off and they work just fine right so yeah let's just take this thing out of my hand not gonna need it just gonna pick up where's the mechanized banner there it is i don't even need the pistol here okay so let's start by the engine and uh, if i have enough i'll attach a bunch more solar arrays so first let's put this thing in there you go so let's go to this side i could have entrances here but i don't think i want to should I actually do an airlock here instead of a... And I'm gonna... Yeah, I have more... Uh, look at that. Icon and Ferrochrome. Jesus. Does this take Ferrochrome? It doesn't. Um, I think here I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna put the skylight. There you go. A skylight on this side and another one that one. I don't think the biosphere has another exit. No. It's just on the two sides. Yeah, otherwise it's gonna have uh, way too many entrances and exits. I mean, a space station would make sense to have different several, several different exits and in, in the entrances for security reasons, for uh, practical reasons. In case you want to leave it to go out and fix something, it's just more useful to have ways to get out, right? So here doesn't make much sense to have an observation module. I mean, unless I want to look down, because I was thinking, is a little bit blocked by everything else. But it, it kind of makes sense because we can look down. So yeah, let's see if I have enough. What I have enough to, for two? Yeah, I have enough to, for two. Nice. So let's put a couple observation modules right here. Yeah, I can go there and look at the Earth or whatever it's underneath. Observation module. There you go. So I think now that I still got those two openings here. Do I have enough glass and everything else? Yeah. I don't think I need anything else in terms of functionality. Just the solar arrays. And for the solar arrays, I think I should be able to attach a few of them. I need 24 glass. And this take 10. 34 yeah i should be have enough for both so let's put another skylight here it would actually make sense to have an orlock here to an exit fast a fast exit from the cockpit but i'm gonna use put this thing because i think it's gonna look nice and i'm going for looks that's look at it doesn't it look beautiful doesn't it look awesome <laughs> It looks spectacular. So let's put a few more solar arrays. And there it is. So on the first one, I placed on, uh, you know, 90 degree angles, up, down, left and right. And on this one, I, I placed them on a diagonal. Kind of looks like it's moving and uh, pushing the boat forward, you know. Kind of like the sails of a boat or the, the paddle. I think, I think it looks cool like this. Yeah. Look at that. I think it was a good idea to add. I don't know why it's, why it's, it's a bit foggy here in space. Uh, but I think it was a good idea to add the second pole module. There we go. So let's see if I can actually fly around it a little bit. Or if it's like an automatic thing where I just go straight to there. Let's see. Open up. Thank you. Of course it doesn't have anything inside. But it will. Where's the thing? There it is. So open up the outdoors and let me go in. There we go. Come out here. And we got two observation modules. 
there you go and if I go down oh I have to close that side oh that's right the auxiliary mode module doesn't is not closed so in fact here it could have another airlock but it goes into that side I can, I can rotate that that's a bummer it would be nice if I could rotate this thing why can't I I mean the connection would be the same but rotate it around you know but I can't uh, so let's put another skylight and be done with it uh, yeah because if, if it's going into the solar arrays I'm not gonna rework. Really work I like how it looks like this so let's go in again is this a door uh, no the door is on the front or on the top there you go so let's go in again and let's get into the cockpit where is the thing there it is okay it opened up nice so now it should be pressurized there you go down is the water observation observation on the back is the power so there you go got the biospheres there nice everything closed oh yeah look at that oh that's awesome I really like what I did here not to push the the thing to my side but I really like what I did <laughs> Pretty cool. Looking much better than the last one that I built. So let's see. Navigation pad drill. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you just press F. I can't actually sit on it and uh, fly around a little bit. It's just F and go to there. Should I go to there? I will do it there, but not today. On the next episode, I'm going to go there because some people said that we actually can't dock the ship spaceship to the space station uh, i'm gonna try anyway but there is a way around which is to actually spawn another spaceship in there and there's a command to do that but i'm gonna have to go back and see what the command is and uh, possibly try it myself so i'm not gonna go there right now just gonna admire my my piece of work here i think it's looking tremendous look at that the alox up space station big balls of fire it's awesome. Thank you for watching and until next time.